Hello Pisces, how are you? How you doing? Pisces, I'm doing the uh, afternoon reading, right? So let's see. Thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who get private readings. Thank you for all those who donate to my channel. And thank you for all those who go to my web and purchase from me. Um, all right, I did. Uh, I really um, started doing the bracelet. So um, it should be done. I can't wait to see what it looks like. It's, it's one like this, but you know, you got to learn how to make the knots to tie it. And then I'm going to start doing my own jewelry, my line of jewelry, okay? And yes, I put my oils on. You know what? I got to do it because ain't no time what's going on. Um, so, tomorrow is the last day for sign up for the class, okay? Um, also, after I close that out, I will be able to um, then get in touch with everybody that um, sign up for the class so that I can give you the link for the Zoom. And um, what else I want to say? Thank you for wearing your mask, okay? Uh, and it's a beautiful day. They said it was supposed to be 80 degrees, but ain't no 80 degrees today. It's like, ain't far, it's far from being 80. Well, definitely where I live at. I don't see no 80. Um, all right, so let's get this reading started. So I got these cards here, which I was looking for my mom's deck, but I wound up getting these Halloween cards that I had and I never used. I'm going to open up my, um, once I get the Zoom class open up, I will be um, open up another Zoom just to chat with y'all and be able to see your face. And this way I can give y'all um, some, um, some of my decks of cards or, you know, a lot of stuff that I normally give away. All right. All right. So this is a uh, Halloween's deck. All right, let's get going with that. Uh, spirits, ooh, tell me what I need to know. The lantern, the lamp, the lamp. Uh, um, a reminder. Okay, the lamp. A reminder, light uh, illuminating the way. Um, you know, Halloween, you know, you got all those lanterns around and people put them everywhere, all right? But, um, or maybe you want somebody to know, or you want somebody to know, or somebody, you know, maybe coming by for trick or treat if you're giving candy. Um, it's illuminating the light, but it's kind of crazy how you got the lantern in the house and it's showing the pumpkin, all right? And the pumpkin looks kind of scary. So maybe, you know, things are illuminating and from hidden things that'll be kept secrets or people wearing masks, Okay. Um, and you know, you seeing people for what they are, for who they are, all right? Um, tell me more spirits, tell me more, tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. Ooh, ooh. The night song, hidden, hidden talent. Hidden talent. This came out the day, right? Earlier. Hidden talent. Like I said, stop letting people shine over you. Stop putting yourself last to make someone else important, okay? It's time for um, us to um, wake up and stop letting people shine over us. When we don't have no reason to allow people to do that, but we do that. We always make other people feel more important in our lives rather than to make ourselves be where we supposed to be, okay?
Tell me more, spirits. Tell me more. And maybe somebody likes to sing. Or maybe um, somebody sings at home but uh, and is a good singer and not willing to be singing out in public. Or um, whatever it is, it's like you hiding your talent from the world. Okay? And the Lanta said you need to show who you are. Mummy, a change. All right? So, again, you hiding. You hiding yourself, right? Um, mummies, um, and it's got a full moon, all right? And it's got a full moon. So, um, mummies, this mummy looks very nice. It looks like it's all dressed up and don't want you to see anything about them. But this also, it's got something to do maybe with your ancestors back in time, all right? Because it got a lot of pyramids in the back of it. Um, and it's a full moon, all right? Um, and all you see is their eyes and everything else. They can't, there's nothing else but just staring at you. Maybe somebody is damn staring at you and says, mummy, but it's a change. And maybe somebody is fucking watching you make a change coming out, bringing your talent out to be seen, all right, or somebody is not speaking, all right, but within themselves, it's like almost a out-of-body experience, where you feel like you in yourself, but you can't speak, or if you ever, and I don't know if this ever happened to y'all, while you sleeping, you feel like something's going on, and you can't move, and you can't speak, but you feel like you, you, you know that you awake, but you can't move and you can't speak. You know that happened to me a lot, way back. It stopped happening to me, but it used to happen to me a lot. And um, but it's a full moon, so it's it's you know you know the full moon is something. Anything can happen. Things come out. You know, um, people show their true colors. Uh, mood swings. All right, but I feel like you you being quiet because it, it feels like you're going within yourself, and it says a change. All right, so sometimes we gotta be quiet about things that we do and what we're going through in life. Maybe you don't you don't you're not sharing everything you you want to talk about about what's going on in your life because everything seems like it's hidden. Everything is a uh, it's kept to yourself, all right? When I feel like it's time for you to shine, to shine the light. And Halloween is when you get dressed. So maybe a lot of y'all celebrate Halloween and y'all go way out. Like where I live at, they go way out for Halloween. Honey, everything, everything. I mean, big parties. And that's when people come out to dress and be who they normally ain't, all right? Because now you got a costume all right, to show off who you are, all right, and some people do the whole facial thing, you don't even know who the fuck you're talking to, but it's like everything is hidden, and it's a change that you're going through, all right, that needs to be bought out, all right, uh, it's time to make a change in your life, it's time to move on, all right, Leave them, drop the mask behind the mask, behind the mask. I mean, Pisces, we play the roles in making everybody happy. So how many masks you got on that you need to take the fuck off and be the one person to every fucking body? Everybody get the same motherfucking way. All right, because why are you going to do this for this person and do that for that person? It's like you always in a place where you have to be Cater to everybody and be where everybody wants you to be. When are you going to be controlling you? All right? Now, again, let's get into this deck of cards. All right? Let's get into this deck of cards. And I'm really loving this deck. All right? So let's get into this deck. All right. 
and see when you get a nice deck of cards like this you can shuffle them because they just fall right into place as you shuffle them it's so nice and it feels good all right all right um let me let me break the deck let's do that Ooh -ooh. i wish i had a bigger desk but i don't my cards be all over the fucking place i can't stand it all right now Spirits, tell me what I... Ooh, we Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here we go. Spirits, tell me what I need to know about this... Ooh, come on, Spirits. Spirits, tell me what I need to know about this Lanta. And it's got too much coming out, so let's try again. Spirits, tell me what I... There we go. Excuse me. All right, so you got the Two of Cups. Two of Cups, it may, may be uh, someone, and it's a love, honey, Two of Cups. You see the loving birds on the top. You see um, it's plenty of green. They smiling. They having a cup of tea. You know, you got a love pill over there. Um, maybe two different races, all right? Uh, but let's see what it says about the Two of Cups. What is it saying about the two of cups, honey? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. The two of cups. The card, oh, okay, true love, partnership, balance, exchange. The, the, uh, the card of true love is always welcome in the tarot reading. Okay, this positive card shows that you have a good balance of giving and taking in your relationships. In your relationships. It says relationships. And that solid foundation of being led um, out from the long haul. It's going to be like, this is going to be for the long haul that you got this going on. And the long haul, it shows you growing old with this person. For the long haul, this is going to lead Okay, a foundation is being lead. Okay, led out for the long haul. Laid out for the long haul, okay? So, this solid foundation is going to be laid out for the long haul. It's going to be a long, you're going to be with this person for a long time. Okay? Now, if you're single, all right, if you're single, not all love is romance. Not all love is romance. When single, when single and fa fabulous people draw this car, it points to spread more time, to spend more time with good friends. Go out to dinner and to the movies with your gals or pals Okay, instead of hitting the dating site. Whoa. So rather than hit for the single ladies, for the single mans, rather than to hit the uh, dating site, go out with your friends and enjoy your friends. That's what it means on the single people, okay? Um, for people... Okay, for ready for love and dating. Ready for love and dating. If you have met someone new recently, this may be the real deal. If you are still looking, this car is a reminder not to settle for someone on your level. You deserve the same commitment, okay? energy that you will bring to the relationship that is for ready to date love and date um if you are struggling in a relationship partnership can work in a communication isn't open the, the, whatever Y'all not speaking, okay? If you are the one who has 
a shutdown. Spend some time, okay? What has led you to this place and see if you can take some action to move forward. If it's your partner, it's time to have a discussion with them, a conversation, okay? It's time to have that difficult conversation that you don't want to have, that you should have, because you need to let it go, all right? Um, if you ended a relationship, instead of calling your ex and with regrets is and regret it later, get a breakup pile, a breakup pile, a trusting friend or two that you can text on the phone or on the phone when you feel tempted. All right. Just because. It's a family doesn't mean it, it, it wasn't good. Don't waste your time. So if I like to read it in different levels because we don't know what level we on. But in reality, this is two people growing old together. That is the real deal shit. Okay. The real deal. All right. Where it's going to be there for the long haul of the rest of your life. So. All right. So, and that was what it was. So maybe, you know, some people, you, you, you're not with a person you thought you would spend the rest of your life with that person and you're not, or, um, you was with somebody that you're not with no more. Either way is what you thought was going to be forever is not forever. All right. Tell me more about this. Oh my God. Come on spirits. Come on. Give me one card, Spears. Tell me more about what I need to know about this. Two of Cups. Tell me more about what I need to know about the Two of Cups. Because Pisces, we thought that this was going to be an everlasting relationship. And it turned out to be fucking hell. All right? All right? So somebody's going through something with somebody. It says, The Knight of Cups. Look to me like he's a player. Somebody's a player. All right, so let's see what it means. Maybe you thought you was going to be with this person forever, but he's the Knight of Cups, a player. All right? Um. So let's see what it says for the Knight of Cups in here. Whether, oh, it says romance, sensitivity, affectionate. Whether you are embracing your inner knight of cups or about to meet one or about to meet one, you are in for one heck of a wild romance ride. Okay, now. The knight is a romance that acts based on their heart. Okay, that's a good thing. Then the, oh, then the word, oh. They were to say, the word to say is what to do so you feel deeply seen. So it's something that you, is a word to say so that you can be seen. And I don't know about that because Pisces, we don't be uh, trying to get all that attention, right? One thing, one thing about the night, about this night, they chase their heart that they desire. So they might not stick around too long. Ooh, we. When something else pulls their heartstrings, they will be chasing the next love interest. So the Knight of Cup to me is a player, a real fucking player. All right, that's what they are considered. The Knight of Cups only saying a player. All right, so. You thought you was going to be with this person. Comes out to be. This person is a player. He don't stick around. All right? Maybe he's the one that got to have more than one woman. Okay? Um, soon as you 
give him your ass to kiss. He's looking up for somebody else, and you got the cup. So it's all emotional things going on here. All right? Um, tell me more about this Knight of Cups. So a player, honey, somebody that likes to play games. Somebody that likes to have more than one. Somebody that um don't know how to settle. Somebody that wants to move fast, don't heal from their past wounds. Um, somebody that's a show off. Somebody that wants to impress someone. All right. This is a man, uh, king of uh the knight of um cups. Look, look at the girl all swinging on him. He done left your ass sitting home, broke up with you to be maybe with somebody younger than you. Who the fuck know? All right? Then you got the page of pentacles. Ain't this a bitch? So the page of cups, and then you got the page of pentacles. So maybe this motherfucker act like he's real, he's older, but acts young as fuck. Okay? Very um childish. Uh, Somebody that... Um, I don't know, just impressing people in all the wrong ways because he's looking like a clown, all right? Um, or maybe somebody young than you. But it seems to me like either they they feeling their youth or they going backwards and th study frontwards to back then when they didn't, you know, when they was younger, they want to do shit that young people do, all right? The page, um... Uh, it's the page of pinnacle comes up in a reading a huge benefit of keeping things simple all right and reducing stress they want to keep shit simple to reduce stress you are also more likely to know where everyone stands and how they feel ain't this a bitch you must likely know where everyone it says everyone stands and how they feel Ain't that a bitch? Um, the page is also a sign to, to trust what your body is telling you when you're not getting the um when when you're getting this intuition hitting you. So I feel like whoever this person is, and, and for whoever it is, because it ain't for all Pisces, I feel like somebody broke up with somebody. And I also feel that this, whoever this is, you know, you thought this was going to be forever. Like, you really thought this person was going to be with you, right? Then, he starts hanging out, not coming home, being with friends, lying, okay? Now, you see a younger woman in here, all right? A player. Then here, you know... He knows where everybody stands, all right? Where everybody stands with his childish ways, all right? Um, and it's also telling you to follow your intuition. If you think something's going on, then something's going on. Now, how about this? Because I see the page, right, is somebody young playing this person might be seeing somebody else and got somebody pregnant. You never fucking know. Because it got a dog and a kid. Right? Playing. And, and it says he knows where everybody stands. So, he broke up with your ass to go with somebody younger. Playing the role like he's a player. And who knows? He probably locked up somebody. Alright? With his childish ways. Because he's thinking with his dick. Or they think with their pussy. However it's going. Somebody's here being real fucking childish. Alright? Or trying to play the lead role to whatever. I don't know what they're trying to play. But they're trying to do something here. Alright? Let's find out what's going on. Because you know I like to be nosy. Thank you spirits for that information. Um, tell me more about this Two of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles. At one time, you had everything going with this person. All right? You had everything. The house, the everything. You know? Um, 
you know, y'all loved each other just like it shows in this picture. Here it shows on this picture. Everything, your money was right. Everything was right with y'all at one time. Or they gave you everything. And this to me feels like is a marriage going sour. Okay? Or somebody that husband has them sitting home and now he just left home and now doing him all right tell me more about this the king of pentacles all right for the knight of cups this person got two doors looking at you got you got this door and you got this door this door is where the, <clears throat> the light is at but he's looking at this door right He's sitting there probably thinking who he want to be with. He's probably thinking it's better to keep her than to let it go. If you're married, you are married. I mean, legally married. Maybe this person saying, you know, I got everything going on. But if I get a divorce, then I got to pay her. All right. So you probably sitting there confused, don't know what to do. But this man here. It's not trying to get a divorce because he wants to make sure that, like he said, he ain't trying to give you shit. He pays the rent, the bills, and that's it. He got a whole new thing going on over here. And that's how they look at him, like he's big fucking willing. All right? He's the one with the money. He's the Mr. Lover Boy. Mr. Lover Boy. Because you go from the king of cups to the pinnacles, money, money, love and money, a lot of problems. The more money you got, the more problems you have. Tell me more about this page of pinnacles. Tell me more about this page of pinnacles. This person looks like he's a hot mess. A hot mess trying to, you know, keep you stuck in the house, but running, doing what he want to do. Huh? The eight of swords. Honey, you like, shit, if he got all this shit going on, I might as well break loose from this motherfucker, okay? And get the fuck out of this situation that I'm in. And that's what you're saying. I'm going to get out of this shit one way or the other. And yes, I'm going to file for divorce and I'm going to get my money and he can go do whatever the fuck he wants. All right? Because somebody here is a real player. And at one time, you had everything with them. But they got two doors. They don't know which way they want to go. Sometimes people wait. Sometimes it's like somebody been married all these years, right? And you think they ain't doing shit. And now this person is feeling his use. He don't want to be tied down to you. He done found something better or she done found something better. So she want to leave and play the game. All right? The player game. Right? But you got to break ties. You got to break ties. You can't do both. You feel like you tied down to something, but you really ain't. You can leave whenever the fuck you want. You can file for divorce whenever you want. You can leave. If you ain't married, you can leave these motherfuckers. If you got all this other shit and it ain't coming home and come home when he want and all that. All right? You need to decide because this motherfucker act like shit. He got it going on. It's two doors that he's trying to see. He ain't looking at your door. He done gave the back to you. But he's looking at this door. And that door is whatever he's doing. Tell me more. Maybe he thought you was controlling the will of fortune. Maybe you was trying to control everything with this man. Because it shows a house. So rather than... Letting the shit be, I felt like maybe he felt like you was controlling him. Or maybe you was always checking up on him, nagging him. But you can't control the will. Because if you try to control the will, you're going to get fucked. Now, this morning you got the will and you had the world around the will. Now here you got the will and it's a problem in the house. All right? The will of fortune. Shit. Think about it. You can have it all. All right? You just got to know what to do to get it all. All right? 
Because you think now, shit, I can get the fuck out of this shit. And if you marry, you can get shit right. You got to just know how to get your shit right. All right? Because it seems like you got a player here that likes to play games. All right? Tell me what this King of Pentacles is talking about. Look at this. The King of Pentacles, you might be messing with two different guys. All right? Shit. I don't know. But I see a lot of, it's a lot of other energy. It's like one energy, two energy. You you got like three different people here. Maybe you the one that's a player trying to um get, get out of this situation. Uh, but his kids involved, so you trying to figure out how you can get out of getting a divorce. Maybe you, um, you know, you, you've been with this person a long time. And you got everything that you want with this person. And, you know, the will is good at, in, in your house, you know. But it, you got too many people. You, you, it seems to me like you may be the player. You got shit. You got somebody. <clears throat> somebody like... The Knights, a cup, somebody young that likes to play. And then you got Mac Daddy that's probably taking care of the house. All right? And then you got another person. So somebody here probably got a lot of, like, a player. It could be you or them. Cross watch or you. All right? But it's somebody trying to break loose from being tied up in a situation that they don't want to be in no more. To go to who? To the lovers. To somebody else. All right, so this is crazy because I feel like it's a person here that don't know who they want to be with, and they got they might got more than just who they with. They probably got two other people, like it's like three people involved, and there's you and three other people. Uh, you know what I mean? Somebody here got a lot of people um, in their life. It's like they got a lot of females or a lot of men in their life. And, you know, they trying to either break it from a person, all right? Break free from this, all right? And y'all probably got kids involved. Damn. But it's like you are in love with someone else and it ain't the person you with. The person you thought you would grow old with is not them. Is someone new that makes you feel good, okay? And I don't know what to say, but it is what it is. Somebody here got too much going on, honey. Damn. Is it that much love going around? Shit, that's too much. Too many people energy involved with too much. So if you got one of them men that like to go out and hang out and fuck everybody, you're going to have too many energy in you because... Whoever it is is bringing all that energy into your space back home. So that's that's not good. All right? So for whoever reading this is, somebody need to open up their eyes, honey, because if it and, and don't be sleeping to this. Oh well, he ain't come home. Honey, he ain't got one, he got several. All right. And you just trying to find a way to get rid of this, but then again. It is probably somebody real young that likes to mess around with everybody. But it's probably got kids involved and you trying to get out of this shit. All right? Get out of it. All right? So it might be two people in a relationship, all right, doing the same shit to each other, seeing different people, all right? And maybe he got his own shit going on, and you got a lot of shit going on, all right, so this is real messy, a messy situation, all right, of two people having too many people in y'all space, and I don't know, I don't want to be that kind of shit, I wouldn't even want to be in this kind of predicament, so if it's you or the cross watchers, and I feel like it's two people Playing each other out. Doing the same shit to each other. All right? I can't let go of her, but I want you. 
I can't let go of you, but I want her. Um, here's Pisces. Shit, I got everybody. Fuck you. You think I'm sitting here waiting on you? Hell no. Pisces got shit undercover. Okay, so I don't know who this is, but that's too damn much for me. All right, Pisces? If you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. Damn, that's too messy.